In an extreme view, the world can be seen as only connections, nothing else. The structure is everything. The brain has no knowledge until connections are made between neurons. All that we know, all that we are, comes from the way our neurons are connected. Sir Timothy John Berners-Lee, legendary computer scientist, professor, and inventor of the World Wide Web. The following are 12 amazing facts about this legend. For a bite-sized, nutrient-dense biography, as well as another success quote from this legend, click the link in the description below. Number 1. Timothy John Berners-Lee, also known as Tim B.L., learned about electronics from tinkering with a model railway, inspired from his train-spotting hobby. Number 2. In the mid-1970s, while at Queen's College, Oxford, Tim made a computer out of an old television set, which he purchased from a repair shop. Number 3. In 1990, when Berners-Lee wrote his proposal about the World Wide Web, as a fellow at CERN, Conseil Européen pour les Ressources Nucléaires, the site of the world's largest and highest energy particle collider, and submitted it to his manager, his manager called it vague, but exciting. Number 4. On 20 December 1990, Berners-Lee published the very first website. On 6 August 1991, he posted on Usenet a Unix-to-Unix -Unix copy dial-up network architecture, a public invitation for collaboration with the World Wide Web project. Number 5. In 1994, Berners-Lee founded the W3C, the World Wide Web Consortium, at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Its mission is to lead the World Wide Web to its full potential by developing protocols and guidelines that ensure the long-term growth of the web. Number 6. The W3C's design principles and vision are centered around five key concepts. One, web for all. 2. Web on everything, 3. Web for rich interaction, 4. Web of data and services, and 5. Web of trust, all of which further W3C's vision of one web. Number 7. Berners-Lee made his idea available freely, with no patent, no royalties, and no licensing. The Worldwide Consortium decided that its standards should be based on royalty-free technology so that it could be adopted by anyone and everyone. Number 8. In October 2009, in a British Times article, Sir Tim said that the first pair of slashes in a web address were unnecessary and that he could have easily designed the web addresses without the slashes, further stating, rather lightheartedly, there you go. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Number 9. In November 2009, Sir Tim launched the World Wide Web Foundation, not to be confused with W3C. The Web Foundation is a US-based, international 501c3 nonprofit organization advocating a free and open web for everyone to use freely and fully improve their lives. Number 10. Sir Tim holds chair and board positions at several institutions, including Computer Science Department at MIT, the Department of Computer Science at Oxford University, as well as the School of Electronics and Computer Science Department at the University of Hampton. In 2012, he became president of the Open Data Institute. He also works with the UK government to help make data more open and accessible on the web. Number 11. In 2013, Sir Tim helped create the Alliance for Affordable Internet, A4AI, a coalition of public and private organizations including Google, Facebook, Intel, Microsoft, the Omidyar Network, the U.S. Agency for International Development, and the United Nations Women, with the goal of obtaining global broadband internet access priced at less than 5% of average per capita income globally. Number 12. According to Statista.com, as of January 2021, there are 4.66 billion active users of the World Wide Web globally, over half of the world's population. 
Sir Timothy John Berners-Lee is considered amongst the greatest and most influential computer scientists and inventors of all time. SuccessfulDailyHabits.com Be legendary.